Hello, look, good afternoon. Hello, teacher. Yes, so can you hear me well? Yes, yeah, I can. Okay, very good. So now, look, um, did you answer your homework? Yeah. Did you send that one in Zalo already? No. Can I send that on the chat? What? Can I send that on the chat box now? Ah, yeah, sure. By the way, what homework did I give you yet last time? Let me see. Make a sentence for each word from our vocabulary. You can write your answer on a paper. So this is your homework, right? Yeah. Ah, okay. I will still download it. So how about the video look? Uh, did you make it already? No. Yes. So when are you going to make the video? I think after this lesson. Okay, so sure, look. Uh, so thank you for submitting your homework. I will check that one later after our class. So now look, can you see my screen clearly? Yeah. Okay, so today we're going to discuss, I know, we're going to have a lesson. Uh, we're going to learn reading and writing. Okay, this is? A practice test for you. So let's learn the words from our vocabulary first. We have here careful, that means giving attention or thought to what you are doing so that you avoid hurting yourself, damaging something, or doing something wrong. Then when you say repair, this means to fix something that is broken, damaged, or torn. Mind means the part of a person that makes them able to be aware of things, to think, or to feel. Then exact, used before you mention the only thing or person about which a statement is not true. Okay, so now look, do you understand or do you have any question regarding these words, the four words here? Do you have any question regarding these words? No. Okay, so let's proceed with our part one. So which notice from A to H says this for question one to five, you mark the correct letter, A to H here. So we have example, we can answer your questions. That's letter E. How about number one, you can drive this way. What do you mean by that? You can't drive this way. Um, your teacher. What letter? Okay, that's yeah. letter. F, very good. So please read also your answer like police notice road close. Number two, children do not have to pay. I. Okay, it's A. Three, you can shop here six days a week. Okay, it's letter G, not D. Goat. Four, be careful when you stand up. Um, D. Okay, it's letter 
Nancy. Very good. We work quickly. What letter? I'm sorry, look, what is your answer to number five? B. What? I can't hear you. B. Okay, that is letter B. So for this one, you got four out of five. So now look, let's proceed with Part two, you're going to complete the sentence, okay, and you circle the correct answer. So when you say come up, that means to happen, okay? So here it's woke up. So for number six to ten, I want you to circle your answer. Okay, okay, we have letter C, C, B, A, B. Very good. You got 9 out of 10. So let's proceed directly with part 3. Okay, you complete the 5 conversation. Example, how are you? I'm fine. That's not I'm 18. Okay, so I want you to circle your answer and we will practice this conversation after you're done.
Okay, teacher. Okay, while checking, I want you to read your answer. It's time for lunch. Half past ten. Okay, half past. Oh, no, this is oh good. Would you like a drink? Coffee, please. Okay, how much was your new t shirt? It's what Very. I'm very sorry. That's all right. Okay, do you speak English? No, I'm not. This is only a little. So for this one, you only have two mistakes. So three, that is 12 out of 15. Yeah, so let's proceed with question 16 to 20. I want you to complete this conversation at a garage. What does the woman say to the car mechanic? So you mark the correct letter A to H. So you can just write your answer actually on the lab block. Okay, teacher. Okay, so we have here. Let's let's check first, then we will practice the conversation. Oh. Uh, what's your previous score? Twelve. Thirteen. 
Okay, that's 13 out of 20. So let's practice the conversation. Look, what do you, uh, good morning, madam, what's the problem? Um, I'm not worth the break at work anymore. I see. We can probably repair that easily. Can you leave the car now? I cannot hear you clearly. What? I cannot hear you clearly. Oh, I'm sorry. I see we can probably repair the, that easily. Can you leave the car now? I'm afraid I need it today. How about the weekend? I'm sorry, we're completely full on Saturday. Oh, could you do it on Monday? Yes, all right. Could you come in the morning? This is the afternoon. Okay. The engine had to start in the morning. I'm not sure, but probably about 30 pounds. That's why I see you Monday. Okay, so you got here 13 out of 20. Let's proceed with part four. You read the information about three books and then you answer the question. Okay, I want you to read this one loudly. Okay. The long night is David really first book. David became a writer. After teaching English for seven years, Ma learns from Northern Australia, where she was in the small hospital. One day, baby is so ill that Ma had to write on the night to get go to the new city, big city. They have a lot of problems getting there. Hard work. Setting story in Joanna Jones Disney. That word is about some back who work with the father in company. In Thailand, the rule learns that our making table and tray, but they do not have any money. And the men dress on in bed, black by the most beautiful table in the shop. Hospital or cinema. Zakam, who studied English in London, wrote this story earlier this year. Tana is a young Brazilian, Brazilian woman whose dream is to become a doctor. She goes to the London to study English and med medicine, but one day, Met men who asked her to go to the USA with him. To become a winter. What can I do? Okay. Which book is by somebody who has written a lot of books? It's hard work. Which book is about somebody who is very poor? Hard work. Which book is about somebody who would like to work in a hospital? Hospital cinema. Which book is about somebody who works in a school? The Long Night. Which book is about a difficult journey? The Long Night. Which book is about a man and his son? Hard work. Which book is by a student? Hospital or cinema. Okay. 13, so you're 20. Okay, you got perfect score here. That's 20 out of 27. So let's proceed 
with part 5 is question 28 to 35. You read the information about snodger dogs. Then you choose the best word for each space. You can mark A, B, C here. Okay, so I want you to read this one. Then you choose your answer or you can just write your answer there. So when you say, let's learn the word from our vocabulary first. When you say Germany, it is a country located in Europe. When you say intelligent, that it's just like you, smart, good at learning, understanding, and thinking logically and showing capability and ability. When you say friendly, it's behaving, uh, behaving good, then kind and pleasant way because you like somebody or want to help them. So for this one, I want you to circle your answer from here. You read and circle your answer. Yeah. Oh, great teacher. Okay, so we have here came, been, have, are, but, them, by, ah. Okay, very good. So for this one, you got 28 out of 35. Great job. Let's proceed with the next part. Okay, so the one word here is given, but you need to complete the word. Example, you can take photos of your camera with this. It's camera. So for this one, I want you to write your answer here. So the first words are, the first letters are given. Okay, we have here passport, ticket, airport, suitcase, and tourist. 
Okay, very good. There's T here. So for this one, 40 minus 7, that's 33 out of 40. Yeah. So here, this is part 7. It's 10 points. I want you to complete this letter. You write one word for each space. Okay. For questions 41 to 50, you write the words on the screen. Or you can just write your answer here. Yeah, example. I arrived here three weeks ago. Yeah, so you write your answer and complete this email or letter. Okay, teacher. Okay, so we have here in from very good have our um his oh when to me and me okay wait me we have here me um to then if okay he is my are have from and in wow perfect you got here 43 out of 50 yes so let's proceed with the last part i want you to read the notice and the note from sheila Fill in the information in Andy's notes. For question 51 to 55, you write your information here.
Okay, we have April 9, The Last King, starting time, 8 p.m. Ticket price, 3.50. Then, meet Sheila in coffee. Okay, so 55 minus 7, that's 38 out, oh, no, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. 48 out of 55. Yes, so let's proceed with, this is the last part, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm very sure that this is the last part. So this is a note from your friend Richard. So I want you to reply and write a postcard. Tell him what he wants to know. It's there great you that you're coming. Yes, look. But, okay, yeah. Teacher? Yes? My chair, do they have the kitchen staff? Yeah. What happened to your chair? I don't know, but it's kitchen staff. So I changed another chair. Ah, okay. So it's, it's, it, it's destroyed? Yes. So maybe you are too heavy for the chair. That's why it gets broken. <laughs> yes. Okay. So for this one, look, you have four minutes to write your answer. You can just write 25 words. It's great that you're coming to see me in England. Tell me when you are coming, how long you want to stay and what you want to do right soon. This is from Richard. So write your answer here. Just 25 words and you have four minutes left. Are you almost done, Luke? 
No. Yeah, so you have one minute left. Yeah, because this will automatically end in one minute look. Okay, okay, so we have, hi Richard, it is good for me to coming to England next Monday. I am going to stay there for one week and I will visit some places, look. Okay, very good. So for this one, how many correct answer did you got before? 48 plus 5. Okay, 60 minus 7. That's 53 out of 60. Okay, don't forget to submit the video before next meeting, Luke. Thank you for joining our class. I'll be seeing you next meeting. Goodbye, Luke. I will send another homework for you. Bye-bye.